I'm Reverend Conrad Tillard, and I am the pastor of Nazarene Congregational United Church of Christ, and I am continuing to be a candidate in the 36th Council uh, District. I'm a candidate uh, for the 36th Council District, uh, and that's Bed-Stuy and Crown Heights. Well, I think both in Bed-Stuy and Crown Heights, there are many issues, affordable housing, the quality of the schools, the issue of crime, uh, the overall quality of life. And these are things that I've dedicated 30 years of my life uh, in, in working on to solve these urban problems. I'm an urban ministry specialist. I've served congregations in Harlem, Roxbury, and Boston, and Bedford-Stuyvesant. So I'm intimately aware of what the issues are uh, for families that live in central Brooklyn. Uh, I know what their issues are because I've been there at the hospital beds when folks were sick. I've been there at the grave site when people have died. I've been there helping get kids in college. I'm on the board of Boys and Girls High School and Bedford Academy. So I'm very active civically in the community. Uh, I'm raising five children. I have a family of seven. Uh, my wife and I are raising five children in the community. So this is not only where I'm running for office, but this is where I work and this is where I live. I also have a long history. I started my career 30 years ago working directly with Re Reverend Jesse Jackson. I traveled the country with him. I learned a lot from him. And then I went on to work for Minister Louis Farrakhan. Uh, and I worked for him for 14 years, learned a tremendous amount about leadership, about discipline, about working with our folks. I also worked with Percy, L uh, Percy E. Sutton, uh, who used to head Inner City Broadcasting Corporation. I had a radio show, too, as a matter of fact. Uh, I was the hip-hop minister for many years, working with young people and rappers in this city. I also started an organization called the Movement for Change. We registered tens of thousands of young people to vote and said to them that hands that once scratched turntables could one day pick presidents. And so I have a long history. Al Van's been a great leader. He's leaving. He can't run anymore due to term limits. And it's very important in Central Brooklyn and Crown Heights that we have a seasoned leader to follow him. And I don't know about the other candidates. We have some great men in the race. They're fine men. But I don't think any candidate uh, has the level of experience that I have. I've been blessed. My grandfather only went to the third grade. But we were blessed because he valued education. I went graduate of the Ivy League University of Pennsylvania, uh, Union Theological Seminary, affiliated with Columbia. Uh, I'm a graduate of uh, Princeton Theological Seminary, went to Harvard Divinity School. Uh, but most of all, I have a Ph.D. from Sidewalk University. And so on every level, I'm qualified, I'm trained, I'm concerned and committed, and I hope to be the next city council person from the 36th district. Reverend Conrad Tiller, Democrat for city council. About a year ago, some, two years ago rather, I'm sorry, some gentleman asked me what could we do to stop uh, the police from pouring out water when they were sitting on their stoop and giving them tickets for public drinking. And so what I did was I immediately organized, uh, I called Councilman Van, reached out to other leaders, didn't wait on anybody, uh, and before you know it, I was with a group of clergy. We were going to meet with Commissioner uh, uh, Ray Kelly, and we, we talked about, in the 79th precinct, uh, the, the dirty tactics that were taking place. Uh, make a long story short, we got that precinct commander moved, an African-American uh, woman and commander was brought in, uh, and while we haven't eradicated stop and frisk in the 79th in, six, uh, in central Brooklyn or the 77th, I, I've been working against this issue for a long time. I'm for an inspector general. The police cannot uh, police themselves. Um, I've gone to jail against police brutality. I've protested against it. I've spoken against it, railed against it, organized against it. So obviously as a black man uh, that has four sons, uh, I could not in good conscience be for something that cast a wide net and, and desires to bring people into the system that have no business uh, being criminalized and brought into the system. Once you're brought into the system, uh, they have your name in a database, someone gets mugged, someone gets killed, your name is there. So it's not a far stretch that you could be accused of a crime falsely. Well, that's a tough decision, I tell you. Uh, I'm looking very closely at Bill Thompson. Uh, I, I like his position on stopping frisk to be different. 
uh, and I'm looking at some other candidates, John Liu. Uh, so it, it's, it's going to be a tough call. Right now, I'm concerned about the 36, and I tell people all the time, it's wonderful to vote for the president. It's wonderful to vote for the congressperson. It's great to vote for the mayor of the city. But your city council person, that's where you walk out of your door. That's where you live. If the streets are not clean where you live, if the garbage isn't picked up, if people, a person gets shot on your corner, you don't call the president, you don't call the mayor, you don't call the congressperson, you call the city council person. So this is the most important race uh, in terms of an individual's quality of life. And so my focus is on being elected. Uh, I know that we'll have a traditional Democratic mayor, and that's good. After 20 years of Republican mayors, Rudolph Giuliani, Michael Bloomberg, it will be a refreshing change to have a mayor that is accountable to the, to the various constituencies in this city again. So uh, whether it's Thompson, whether it's Lou, we know that we'll have someone that is more of a partner, but we must remain vigilant. And that's why people in the 36th must have a vocal, very strong person to represent them because there will be developers and people coming in here trying to remove long-term residents and you need someone who's concerned, committed, and consistent, and that's me.